Teplas are something that I really love and enjoy and getting the perfect teplas is something that I think we all try to do. Today I'm going to show you guys a wonderful and easy recipe. This is methi tepla. So let's get started and check it out. For the methi tepla, I've taken one bunch of fresh methi leaves. I'm using the large methi leaves for this recipe. So first to pluck the leaves. You can either chop the leaves and then wash them or you can also just pluck the leaves first. So now I'm going to wash it a few times. Make sure you wash it at least two to three times so there's no uh, mud or sand in it. I washed the methi leaves a few times, you can see it's nice and clean. Now I'm just going to chop it and keep it aside. Next I'm going to make the ginger green chilli paste. For this I've taken one large piece of ginger and two green chillies. Add some water. Now to make the tepla, take a nice white bowl. To this take one and a half cups of wheat flour or atta, quarter cup basin or gram flour. Next add one teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder. If you'd like it a little spicy, you can add extra. Half teaspoon carom seeds or ajwain. 2 teaspoons ginger and green chilli paste. 2 tablespoons curd or yogurt. 1 tablespoon oil. Next add the chopped methi leaves. Roughly about 2 cups. Add a teaspoon of kasuri methi. Now first I'm going to mix without adding any water. Make sure everything is well combined. Now gradually pour some warm water for mixing. This is about half cup. Now if I need extra, I will probably add a little later after mixing. So I've mixed the dough. It's all well combined. If you feel there's a lot of moisture or excess moisture, you can just dust a little flour and make sure it's all well combined. Once you've kneaded the dough, just pour a little oil. Close it and let it sit for about 25 to 30 minutes. The dough has been sitting for about 30 minutes. Now I'm going to start rolling out the tape plus. First, divide the dough into equal size balls. So it's so moist and nice. So this is a good size to take. First, I'm going to coat the dough ball with the flour. Make sure it's completely coated. So if required, add some flour so that it's not sticking. So make sure you roll them nice and thin. So you can see I've rolled it out nice and thin here. I've rolled out all the teplas. Now I'm going to start frying them on the tawa. Make sure the tawa is nice and hot. The teplas have to be cooked fast, so make sure the tawa is hot at all times. So I'm frying these in a high flame. 
Once you see the brown spots, just add a little oil. You can either add oil or ghee. So there you go, here is this absolutely delicious and super soft methi teplas. Now this is very nice if you can have it with some nice achar that is pickle or with some curd by the side. Uh, it makes for a great lunchbox recipe and also for picnics it makes for a great uh, meal or lunch. So do try this recipe and enjoy. You can get a copy of our first edition of the home cooking book on 21 Twins.